All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Katanji Brown Jackson presiding. Please be seated. Now calling criminal case number 4046, the People versus Stephen Reynolds. Good morning. Are both sides prepared for trial? Yes, Your Honor. Ready, Your Honor. All right, we will begin with opening statements. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, thank you in advance for your service. Now on the night of September 14th, a much admired coach and teacher, Mr. Randy Johnson, was shot and murdered just outside one of our high schools. Now this wasn't a mistake, this wasn't an accident, this was cold-blooded murder. Ladies and gentlemen, sadly, Coach Johnson is not here to speak for himself. He was silenced forever. So it is up to us, to you and to me, to speak for him. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, contrary to the prosecution's assertion, it is not up to you to speak for Randy Johnson. Your role is to determine if the prosecution has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that Stephen Reynolds murdered Randy Johnson. And the evidence in this case will show that the prosecution cannot meet that burden. The prosecution bears the burden of proving that beyond a reasonable doubt that Stephen Reynolds killed Randy Johnson and they cannot do it. And under our law, if the prosecution cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Stephen Reynolds committed this crime, you must find Stephen Reynolds not guilty. Thank you. My name is Emmett Sullivan, and I'm a judge with the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia, as well as a proud graduate of D.C.'s McKinley Tech High School. Jurors, the trial has concluded, and you now have two responsibilities. First, you need to decide the facts. Based on the evidence in this case, what really happened the night of September the 14th after the Panthers football game? Second, you need to decide whether the government has proven that Stephen Reynolds is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Mr. Reynolds does not need to prove his innocence. Your verdict must be unanimous, meaning all jury members must agree on it. The United States Constitution guarantees the right to trial by jury, and the District of Columbia depends on people like you to serve as jurors and administer justice in our community. The case is now in your hands. You may commence your deliberations. Good luck.